What's going on guys? I am Michael Anthony and today I am bringing to you eight tips to help you guys grow your business using Instagram. For a little bit of background, our studio has been using Instagram since 2014 to help grow our brand and help reach more people. To this date, we book about 15 to 20 weddings a year from Instagram. Our studio does about 130 to 150 weddings. It fluctuates every single year. A large chunk of those come from a free advertising source that requires very, very little money but a lot of work, and that is Instagram. And today, I am gonna teach you guys how to book more clients using that platform. Now, I want you guys to understand that I am not teaching you today to build a massive following. In fact, a lot of the people that you guys see out there that have 100,000, a million followers, many of them are not making any money from Instagram because it's just about showing a uh, showing that they have a large following, right? It's about perception, okay? And yes, it's important to make sure that you guys have a decent amount of followers so that the people who are coming to your brand understand that it is trusted and that they can uh, they can rely on it to produce good imagery from them, but you don't need to have 50,000 followers to earn a lot of money from Instagram, okay? And today I'm gonna give you guys some of the tips that we've used to grow our Instagram, not from a follower standpoint, but from a revenue standpoint. All right, so tip number one, this is the first thing that you guys need to do in order to help grow your Instagram, is to clean up your freaking profiles, okay? If I go to your Instagram page and you had a picture with your cat, and then it's a beautiful wedding photo, and then the next picture is something that you ate last week, that is not good. You are not showing people uh, the content that they are coming to your Instagram for. Now, your friends, yeah, they wanna see that stuff, right? But a random bride who doesn't know you, they don't wanna see what you had for dinner last night or what you did out last night at the club with your friends. They wanna come there and see that you guys can create good pictures for them in order to hire you for their wedding or their portrait session, okay? And in order to do that, you have to make sure that your portfolio is clean. This is the same concept that applies to your website. So if we go to your website, we wanna see in your first 20 images, photos that represent your brand. Not photos that are trendy, unless that is part of your brand, but we wanna see what makes you different. And every image that you post to Instagram has to follow that same mentality and mindset. So if you guys right now go through your profile and you see a lot of junk, right? Go through and start archiving that stuff. Clean up your story. Instagram gives you a great tool uh, in order to clean up some of the stuff that's on there without getting rid of it completely so that you can always go back and look at it later, okay? So go through your Instagram, clean it up, archive the old stuff, and start posting content that is new, fresh, and exciting, and matches your brand. Okay, now tip number two is actually something that we did about two years ago to help make the user experience better on our Instagram page. So utilizing the highlight section on Instagram, you can actually create a mini website. And keep in mind, guys, a lot of the traffic to our website does come from Instagram, but a lot of our bookings or our inquiries come directly through the Instagram platform because people don't want to leave the platform to go into their web browser to explore stuff that they can see, aka pictures, on your Instagram, okay? So in order to do this, you have to post a lot of stories. And we did this all over the course of two or three days. And what we did is I organized all of my content into folders and then you post them in reverse order that you want them to appear in your highlights, which means that the last image that you post has to be an icon or a graphic that's gonna represent that entire section. And if you guys need to make something like that, go to canva.com, C-A-N-V-A, and you can create icons that will, that will fit on your Instagram story, okay? And we did this to make all of these little uh, icons that we have to represent the different sections on our stories, okay? Now, the things that I recommend that you guys put here, contact information, testimonials, pricing. Those are the things that people are, and sorry, about us as well too. Those are the things that people are going to go to uh, most often in order to get the info that they need in order to hire you, right? So make sure you guys clean those out. It's not that hard to do this. It may seem overwhelming, but you can do it in less than an hour. I promise you, the hardest part is just organizing your content. All right, guys, tip number three. I think you guys are gonna love this because it has helped us to earn more bookings than any of the other tips that I'm gonna provide you guys as a direct result, okay? And that is to search uh, for users using geotags on Instagram in order to follow and interact with. Now, let me ta tell you guys what I'm talking about. You can go to your search function and search for a place. And when you search for that place, it's gonna pull up all of the people who have posted an image in that particular place. So let's just say you guys go to your local bridal shop in your town. Let's just say it's somebody that you guys have worked with before, okay? And you type in the bridal shop's name, it will pull up a list of pictures from people who have posted pictures at that particular location, right? So those 
users are good people to follow because they are potential clients for you and engage with them. And I know what you're thinking, especially you introverts out there, you're like, I don't want to go and just reach out to somebody random. That's creepy, right? You guys are a business, okay? People are being bombarded every single day by advertisements. You're probably watching one before you watch this video, or at least you will right after this video because YouTube is bombarding you with advertisements. Well, reaching out to somebody directly through Instagram from a business profile is just advertising. That's all it is, right? And we've done this, and the way that we've done it is if a bride has posted a picture of her in a wedding dress at a local bridal shop, we've reached out to them and just said, hey, I love the gown, great choice. Cruises Bridal or whatever bridal shop is a really awesome place. Uh, we've done a lot of work with them. You can check out some of our work if you guys are still looking for a wedding photographer at, insert your website right here, we'd be uh, very happy to give you a discount if you choose to work with us, right? Do something like that. And I promise you guys, it may seem creepy, right? I, I get it. It's like you're reaching out to random people, but don't think of your Instagram anymore as a social platform. It's an advertising platform because you are a business. And if you guys are not using your Instagram in that capacity, then you guys need to rethink your Instagram strategy. So to give you guys some perspective, right? We've utilized this, uh, this technique again for the last like two or three years. And we probably book half of our weddings from Instagram um, by connecting with people through that exact method. Okay. okay, tip number four, this is something that's gonna help you guys build vendor relationships and book more weddings as a result of your efforts here. And that is to tag all of your vendors in a description that you work with on an individual shoot, but not just in the description, and this is where a lot of you guys mess up, right? Tag them in the picture as well too. Why do we want to do that, right? Because let's just say I shoot a wedding this weekend at a winery, right? Well, if I tag the winery in the photos that I post on my Instagram from that shoot, now those pictures show up in the tagged section of that winery's photograph. So if users go to that winery's pictures and they want to see what other people have posted from there, okay, they will click on that particular icon on the, on the right hand or the middle side of the uh, accounts feed and it will showcase all of the images that they were tagged in, right? And by doing this, you kind of control what content is appearing where and it allows you to connect with more vendors. So not only are you reaching the people that are search, searching for or are interested in working with that venue, but you're also uh, reaching the venue itself and letting them know that you are proactively tagging them in photos and sharing images with them, which is a good thing for you and it's a good thing for them. Tip number five. You guys need to grow your following, which I think you do, at least to 10,000 followers so that you can use the swipe up feature on your Instagram story. Then one of the things that you guys can do is to make sure you are interacting with everybody on your page. This is how you grow your following, okay? And I don't mean just by responding to comments. That's a nice thing to do. It's a nice gesture. You should do that anyway, right? But what I mean is by looking through the people that you're following. So let's just say there's a makeup artist that I work with at a wedding, uh, right? And I want to follow her on Instagram. Well, when I hit the follow button, Instagram is going to suggest a lot of other accounts that are very similar to that makeup artist that I just followed. Now, those people, if they're in your local market, you could follow them as well, send them a DM, uh, say hello, let them know who you are, so that the next time that they see your name somewhere, either at a wedding or in an advertisement, right, they're familiar with you. Remember, advertising is all about getting your name out there in as many places and in, in having those clients see your name seven or more times. That is like the magic number. They call it the rule of seven. If they see your name seven times from seven different places, they're gonna consider you an expert in your field and be more willing to work with you. Okay, tip number six is to utilize the story function on your Instagram to share the personal side of your business. Now, tip number one, we talked about cleaning up your profile, right? And that's because you posted pictures of you with your cat from last night, right? When you guys were at home doing nothing but watching YouTube. So. Today, what I want you guys to do, after you cleaned all of that up, share that personal side of your business, but do it on your stories, okay? And share things that are relevant to people, not cat photos. I was just joking about that, okay? But instead, share pictures of you working behind the scenes. People love behind the scenes, not just photographers, but actual clients love seeing behind the scenes photos. And guess what? If you take a photo behind the scenes with your cell phone, and then you post the final result with your mirrorless or DSLR camera, that shows a huge before and after and it tells people what can be possible by hiring a professional photographer. But you can't just do this today and be like, 
I'm gonna see all the results tomorrow. It's not gonna happen, okay? You have to be consistent with this, which is gonna be one of my tips that I'm gonna get to in a second, right? But I want you guys to make sure you're posting three to four stories a day. And actually, when you have over 10,000 followers, link to a relevant piece of content on your website because that's gonna help your SEO traffic, in, or sorry, it's gonna help your SEO rankings in addition to your uh, user experience and um, your Instagram profile as well. Okay, tip number seven, and this really applies most to you iPhone users is to utilize the hashtags app in order to find relevant hashtags for your content. Now, if you're an Android user like me, you can still do this. There are other apps that do it, but hashtags is the best app for this. And, uh, and what I do is I have an old iPhone that I use to, to create the content using this app because the app isn't available on Android, but it works excellent. Um, for creating hashtags that are relevant to a particular post. And the way that this works is you guys will, let's just say, shoot a wedding at a venue, right? We'll type in the venue name and then wedding in the search bar for this hashtags app, and it's gonna recommend 30 different hashtags that are relevant to that particular hashtag that you search for, right? Now you know you're creating hashtags that are relevant to a particular image so that you have a chance of showing up in that explore section to people who are interested in what you have to offer. This is a huge, uh, a huge piece of advice that I can give you guys for growing your following and helping create more followers that are relevant to the genre that you're shooting in. And while I think it's okay to have photographers follow you, just keep in mind guys, we're on a, a platform that we share images, photographers are social, a lot more social than your clients. I do think that it's not a bad idea to, uh, to make sure that you guys are building your following, um, both of photographers and of regular clients as well. Okay, and the last tip that I have for you guys, and probably one that you guys are sucking at right now, is to be consistent, okay? You guys are not seeing results. Instagram is like every other piece of marketing. If you're not seeing results, it's likely because you didn't do it for long enough. So when it comes to consistency, what, how much is too much on Instagram, right? Well, I don't think at this point, because Instagram's algorithm isn't 100% like Facebook's, I don't think that you can ever be too much in terms of posting. Yes, you don't wanna post 10 times a day, but you're not gonna do that, right? Two to three times a day is a good number, okay? Once per day is essential. We try to post one time per day on our Instagram account, but when we were first ramping our Instagram account, we were posting four times a day, sometimes even longer, to keep consistently appearing in a news feed, right? Now, if you don't have that much content, don't stress out about it, right? One time a day is fine, but just make sure that it's consistent work and you guys are doing this every single day. Now, how do you stay consistent? You're not gonna stay consistent Consistent by posting live, right? By going on uh, Instagram at any given time of day and just making a post. You could do that, but it takes a lot of time. Instead, what I do is we would use an app called Later. Later is an app, it's like $10 a month or something like that, and you guys can actually schedule your posts throughout the week. And there's a lot of apps, by the way, that do this, like Hootsuite and Buffer and all sorts of them. You can schedule your posts throughout the week, but one of the things that I like about the Later app is it allows you to actually tag people in the pictures like we had talked about earlier. And in addition to that, you can also do things like hashtag search, like I talked about in my last tip. So Later's a really good app. It's a little bit harder to use than the other ones but it's a lot more functional. So go ahead and utilize that to help you guys stay consistent. All right, guys, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed these eight tips. I am uh, open for ideas, right? This YouTube channel is kind of new for me. I wanna make sure that I'm producing content that's relevant for you guys. So if you guys like this, please do me a favor, subscribe below, but also go ahead and leave a comment with something that you guys would like to learn about so that I am able to create more videos that are relevant for you. Thank you guys a lot, and we will catch you next time. Catch you later.